Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Aethor Genesis New Horizons modded. Before we even do the summary, I feel like I need to apologize for the last episode. The audio volume of my mic was set way too high, and I feel like I need to explain what happens occasionally to you guys. So, I have a programming job, and... At times, I have to go to meetings with my other programmers. COVID is keeping us all home, and as far as we can tell, we're going to be home for the foreseeable future. If, they, if my contract gets renewed, this means that for the next five years, I'll be working from home. So when it comes to meetings, we use like various uh, video conference software. Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, Skype. Slack huddles. There's a huge host of various vidcam software that we use to see each other, to see each other, just to talk and just uh, pass some time. Sometimes we just, uh, pardon the expression, but we shoot the shit, uh, as it were. Other times we're in talks with other companies, and we all get together to like share screens and show work and so 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 on and so forth. Well, some of these programs adjust the volume of my mic automatically for me. And if I don't remember that I was using a different type of meeting software, Microsoft Teams in particular, uh, I forget that I was on that, obviously, when I begin recording a game session later on in that day. This is what happened in the last episode. My volume, you guys don't are gonna understand this, and I've been tempted to record what I go through when recording, compressing, editing, adjusting a game. So you guys have some idea of what the whole process here is here, like how the sausage is made, as it were. But in any case, uh, my volumes are normally set to my recording volume for my mic on my Windows 10 system. The number is normally 54. It doesn't really mean anything to you because you don't, you don't have a good idea of what exactly that entails or what that level is. But this is what you hear when I'm... After I do a little bit of uh, audio, audio adjustment at the end of an episode. Well, that last episode, my microphone was adjusted up to be, I think it was 78. And you can tell that it is quite different. If I didn't use my audio uh, software to reduce the voice volume, it would be unwatchable. It was just way too loud. In the case, I apologize for that. So... In the last episode, we pushed our way further to the east and secured marble and mithril as additional resources and have come to some trade agreements with Herskill and Oyanor on the shard as well. Currently, most of our resource require, uh, demands are being met, in particular for mithril and marble and iron, since we're getting that from, as you can see, from Oyanor. So it's working out pretty well for us now. We still need Arcanite, and we were too slow to take the Misty Swamp from her skill, so I guess it's going to be her skill that we attack first and Oinor last. It is turn 133. There is nothing which is really stopping us from conquering her skill and Oinor in this episode. They're probably both rather close together, although I don't see the 75% lands yet. Her skill's probably located here, and Oinor is probably located up here somewhere. I would like to fully explore this shard so we can get those extra points before I consider beginning to wrap up this shard. I also, uh, not apologize, but I need to somehow explain myself because we're taking a small break here about the summary as well. Because I keep mentioning how I should end this shard as quick as possible. And then I take like another 20 turns just doing location battles. I'm not sure what I want to do. And so I'm slowly taking more provinces as we push to the east on the shard or to the right hand side of the screen but i really love these vacation shards is what i call them where i can just relax not really concerned about too much about what we're fighting get some loot and treasure and just have a lot of fun showing off some of the more difficult battles and relish the power level of some of our heroes i would like to before we conquer oinor and her skill again explore the rest of the shard Fight dragons at least once with Linter and see if the rangers are strong enough to take on one. Maybe even we'll do a battle against one with Rudalus. We will see. And then, uh, 
at that point, probably wrap up the shard. So we're probably looking at two to four more videos on this shard before we finally finish it. I know this is going to affect our glory somewhat negatively because we're way we're going over the time limit the game expects us to beat this shard in. But I don't think the game developers realize just how much fun it is to just relax on a shard. <sighs> Take your time at it. Anyway, let's get back to the review. A summary. It is 130, turn 133. We are earning 632 gold per turn and 35 gems per turn. 522 gold is currently being spent on the armies that our heroes are running around with. Ugh, very expensive. Almost half our cash. You can also see right here we have spent at least one battle per turn so far since we were supposed to be on the shard. We are beginning to get ready to build tier 3 buildings. In fact, we already built one, a catapult, that allows us one more structure if we wish to, uh, well, we will want to, uh, gain access to another type of unit. We've finished the tier 3 centaur province as well. If we want the centaur stables, then we will need to build the castle next. We actually have the funds for this now that, now that I notice it. But we need to build one more of these buildings first. We have built the first of the tier 2 spell schools as well. That we don't have Arcanite is probably the only reason why I'm hesitating building the others. We finished the Craftsman Quarter. The Temple Quarter is all done. In fact, most of our other quarters have been completed. We're beginning to even run out of things to build in our domain. But we're still several turns away from finishing it. We have access, to, we'll need access, or want access to tier 3 spell schools and so on. And I would, wouldn't mind building all these structures so we get more points at the end of the game to counter the losses that we're taking in glory. Province-wise, again, we took some new provinces here and here. We might take these, these empty hills as well. It would stop the harpies from making raids if we decide to take this province. So we'll probably end up doing that in this episode. For our heroes, you guys have been listening to me chat about their summaries for the past few episodes, so I will spare you doing that in this episode. I'll quickly mention if we got any new gear, however. We picked up this flaming helmet last episode, which we're not using on Rudalus because he can't. It's heavy armor. Should be given to our warrior if we're going to give him this helmet. And a piercing spear, which he can use, which is a good weapon for him to have, just in case he actually has to defend himself. Though, we'll still be sticking with the Flag of Intrepidity and Khan's Blade at this moment. Linter at level 18. He... Oh, wow! He's got a bunch of crap in his inventory and an extra Tier 3 spell slot he needs filled. He's currently still exploring here. Did Can I build a... I cannot put a shop here. So, we're probably coming over here to Guardian Ridge to Vendor. We should probably just do that. So, let's double you back to vendor some of this stuff and store other things that you have acquired so far, Linter. Grim is level 15. And we found some battle gloves. Not the best gloves in the world, but arguably better than the Dwarven Gauntlets. With plus one attack, so I'll take it. And Ilarian is level 5, able to actually defeat a few enemies. And he's just now exploring these Ring 1 provinces to look for some other easy locations. I think that does it for a summary. So let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. So Rudalus. Rudalus is setting up here to do these battles. Because these are very difficult encounters. And Rudalus' army should be able to handle all of them. Grim is swapping with Rudalus. Right, because we found some easier locations here. So why not do those with Grim? Winter is now moving back in order to get some, uh, leave some gear behind. Alarin explores. Let's end the turn. Hmm. We're not exploring. We're entering a location. Five enemies, Lizardmen, and a beater. I think we've done a battle like this before. With a weaker army and less spells. So let's do it. Give our bowmen that hill. And let's do it. All right, so if I damage, so it's always tempting for me to use Rain of Stones to damage most of the, all these enemies. 
Although, to be honest, they're going to be... Well, yeah, I think, we, I think we will do that. Let's start by moving you here onto the hill. You move here. Shoot one, because they, they're not going to intercept the initial shot. And then, since he's hurt, you can kill that guy. Okay, let's kill their archer. If I keep you here, you'll be attacked by just this guy. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that spearman there then and shield him. He moves up to help secure uh, this flank. And it won't really matter who I shoot, so I'll shoot that guy. Well done. We can throw a spear here. We can heal. And we do 16 damage. Since I don't want one of these guys intercepting for the other, I'm going to move him here and attack. Now this one is vulnerable. And I think we kill this guy too? We do not. Plus one ma magic, necromancy two. I said we were making Lauren a necromancer. We will do that. Bless. Hand axe is garbage. Accept this gift as a token of friendship and a symbol of peace, Lottery. Uh, no, I'm I'm okay, Oenor. I will pass on it. You, you keep your cash. Law is everything. Take him to the dungeon. So little gold, what a pity. I'll let him as long as he pays. Oh, we got some good stuff. Very well, then. Excellent. That, I think, is the third piece of the Paladin set I was looking for. Oh, we have four pieces of the set now. So we should absolutely use this on our hero when we get a chance. So we're going to pull him here in order to stop by the storehouse and equip it. Linter is going there as well for that storehouse. Since we're doing all this movement, let's also drop a granary here and a stable here. At home... Let's drop one of these buildings down. I guess we'll drop down the magic well. For rituals, enchanted copper is off of cooldown if I want to put it someplace. Sure, we'll keep putting it at the wondrous lands. <laughs> we can pretend there's lots of corruption happening there. And I think that's all we're going to do. No, Alarin. We can vendor this. Vendor that. We can sell some cloth bracers and give you a copper bracelet. I forgot we built an upgraded jewelry store. Mmm. Steel rings are better than iron rings, so at the very least we'll want one of those. And I think since we give you a copper bracelet, we can vendor this copper ring and give you a silver ring for some morale. Okay, I think that's good. You picked up a point... Oh, you have a tier 2 and a tier 1 spell slot unlocked. We should go back home and fill those slots. And I think that's it. For that turn, excellent. Getting lots of fares, lots of wine. Grim. We're not going to ever need... Ah, uh, well, let's repair. We're not going to need to play gauntlets, that's for sure. If we do make Alarin a necromancer, he'll be able to use this type of armor. Medium armor. So, we're going to leave this behind... And we're going to equip all of... Oh, do I actually want all of this? Well, I do want the, the gauntlets. Plus one parry, plus five hit points. We're going to lose some province exploration. 
We can always keep this gear, this these boots on his, in his inventory. This cloak will be worn. We don't need this cloak. We'll keep you with the offender's gear at this moment. Okay. Greenwood does not need any new troops. He moves here, and he will begin exploring there. Actually, doing battles here? Yeah, he probably defeat the six gargoyles. Yeah, he can beat six gargoyles. Although he'll want this weapon to do so. Alarin can get some spells. Let's build the tier two necromancers guild, and this will allow him to take Ray's ghoul. And for other creatures, we'll grab a, another raised skeleton. Now, after the next battle, we're probably dropping the healer from the army, and we're going to drop the centaur warrior for the ghoul. We have another fairy here that's available. If I want to hire it for one of my armies... Linter! could use that little fairy. But since we're fighting a dragon, the dragon is likely going to run up and, well, kill it. You know what? But who cares? We'll just get a... That's fine. Let's leave our level 7 spearman behind and take her with us. I just realized we have a bunch of gear on you. So let's repair everything. That Necromancer's Knife would be a good item on Alarin, but he'll want a wand. This is a better helmet slot for you as well. Back to Linter. Enchanted Weapon. You want this spell, right? Improves, increases all types of attack to all friendly use by one. Lasts four turns and replenishes four ammo. Pestilence, a tier four spell. You are not currently using a tier four spell. I think we'll, I think we'll give you pestilence as well, Linter. Oh, but I can't do that here. Okay. I can't do either of those here. So then we might as well just leave these at home at the moment. Okay. We do have this crab bracers, which should be given to Grim. Okay, so Linter, <sighs> can we, I, I want one more point in wand firing before I try to take on dragons, so let's instead find something else he might be able to do. Actually, where's that sorcery store? Was it in my domain? I don't have a site description there. I thought I saw a wand. Is there another? I must have just forgotten to write it, to write it down. Oh, look, there's one here. Nothing there either. Nothing written down there. Okay, so I think it was this place that had the undead wand. So let's go up there. I spend too much time, viewer, trying to help my lowest level hero. And realistically, there's no reason why I shouldn't win the, beat the shard right now and just end this. 
But I want to spend a few more turns just having fun. <laughs> Let's fight the demonologists. Did I build structures in our, pro in our provinces? I did not. Okay, so... Let's go with the deputy's house and judge's house. Slowly getting that corruption down. When we chose laws everything, this also lowered our global corruption somewhat. Now that I know it works, that event works that way, I will have a hard time choosing we won't break our old uh, traditions early on. The game remembers what you choose for that event when it happens, by the way. So your corruption will be higher if you choose that option even without any corruption currently affecting your lands. You'll start with more of it. There'll be no loafers, Alaren. You, there's no way you beat Asian guards. Let's send you up here. Imp, Spawn, Fiend, Hellhound, Demon, Demonologist. Let's do it. Remember that most of this army will be immune to the fire damage that we deal. Alright, this is good, I think. Let's start. <laughs> this is that can hit that target, it will do so. We need to kill the demon first, as it can reach me and destroy one of my units. Summon Imp on the sky, and a Hellhound. Summon Hellhound on this one as well. Demon Blood is on this guy. I'm curious if he'll cast that and what it actually does to us. So we should web him. To make sure he doesn't get a chance to effect, uh, infect us with something. Looks easy. Remember that we're going to get additional summons put on top of us. Unless... Unless you can just kill. Never mind. This will be rather easy. Which is good. I don't want to have to worry about dealing with a bunch of additional uh, demons. I'm always glad to fight demons because of the amount of cash they grant just from the battle itself. 724. Very good. Plus one range for you. Dragon Shield. Uh, this is now we're, we're getting to the point where we need different, uh, we're getting lots of choices for our warrior, because he has the offender shield at the moment. And that's part of the offender set, which we have two pieces for, but now this is two pieces of the dragon's set. I'm for it. I'm all for it. Fair exchange. Help him open the shop. Wonderful. Oh, I tried to be different. It's still fine. All right, Alaren, let's have you just explore. Rulus, congratulations on your victory. You'll go in and fight something else. So let's fight some standard demons now with you. Linter, you're heading up here to shop for wands. Grim heads in and fights some gargoyles. At home. I still can't think of what which of these I want. So we'll build a torture chamber. We have all the resources for it. And this unit can be given to our necromancer when he unlocks tier 3 units eventually. Although I, I will want... 
Powerful undead. That means ghosts. So maybe we don't build him. You know what? We won't build him. Let's instead... I guess we'll build the Temple of the Eagle. Let's do it. Get access to priests as another type of support unit for our armies. And we should keep we should keep upgrading structures. So we'll put a pub. And a tavern here. And now we end our turn. Five or six exploited lost lands, six gargoyles. Grim can annihilate them, I'm hoping. Let's do it. Okay. One. Fast haste. Two. I don't really need a spell cast on yourself. We'll use stone skin anyway. It's gonna be a bit rough. We kill these gargoyles with anything else except our hero. But he should be able to do so. Can we blink? Some of these to death. hoping you would kill it. We've got all that magic resistance. We're not probably not killing so these with range attacks. Stone form for these two. annoying because I'm not going to put any damage on them so, so, so. or a, just a tiny bit of it but I can attack and kill that gargoyle so we definitely want to do that and we just end a turn I think we're not going to do any other damage to that singular gargoyle guys kill us somehow, please. <laughs> can you kill it? Let's see. No. No, you can't. God, there's nothing I can do. We can't hurt this with anything else I've got. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This guy can sh can hurt it, apparently. And that goes back into stone form. So annoying. We did it, though. Let's see. Let's give you some morale, giant slug. Wand of Tempest. Nine range attack, five range, three ammo, magic shot. 
Energy control plus four. Spell power plus one. That's a good wand for our necromancer. We don't need that undead wand any longer. It's probably more thematic for him to use the undead wand, but I think we'll just give him that. Twelve demons. We've just beaten ten with demonologists. No hills on our side of the battlefield this time, though, to assist us. Let's start. A single demon. The succubi does not have mind control. I, well, we might be able to kill the demon. We'll need a haste spell. want to do this. So let's go ahead and use haste here. Use up. If we can kill more of their units to start, I am willing to blunt most of their assault. Get rid of their Alpha Strike with our own. Oh, wow. The Succubi didn't even shoot at us. Oh, that sucks. For them. It's just being annihilated. Man. Disgusting. Uh, Oscarish, let's give you... You only have 10 stamina. Let's give you a stamina. This horse archer can get a precise shot medal. Give you a range attack. Hit points. Uh, we'll give you hit points. Raise Cadaver. This is an upgraded ghoul, so we totally want to give this to our necromancer as well. Wall is everything. So a little gold. Uh, let him raise hell. They'll calm down. The orcs go on plundering for several days more. They can calm down at last. The damage costs seven gold. That's not so. That's a good thing you're no victims. This guy, this guy, this guy let orcs do. You know, do what orcs do. All right. Brutalist, what did you earn again? I think we deserve something a bit better than that from that battle. But to be honest, given our army, that was rather easy. And before I forget, Oscarish becomes a ranger. You guys need to be level 22 or something? 19. Getting close for our nomads to become... What are they called again? Keshiks? Keshik, yep. We'll just keep clearing out stuff here. Let's go fight some monastery guards. We'll see what that's like. Linter, we no longer need you up there. Um, Just explore here instead. Grim? We want to give this wand to our hero, but I'm just going to have you explore here for a bit first. I want more loot in your inventory before I pull you back to the storehouse. Alarm keeps exploring. I guess we can finally deal with the unhappiness here by putting a brewery down. And at home, let's build the castle. A mage's tower was found. Examine it. Talk to the magicians. He teleports us away. Okay, no problem. We'll have to deal with him later. Some tower ruins. Uh, examine it. This will be a piece of cake for you, Grim. But we don't need you to have the ancient sword equipped. We'll give you the paladin's boots. Give this back to you. Since they are 
un uh, spellcasters give you the sort of justice, and you just beat them up. That's a good spot as any, I suppose. I don't like where everything is here because we're going to be sl we can't possibly reach them in one turn. Let's start with the haste. Wow, so it's going to take several turns to reach them. Let's web one of these guys, and we'll web the necromancer. I'm not happy to see Narnars. We can kill Narnars with other units, so. so yeah, our monks can defeat Narnars without too much trouble. One health, we leveled. We'll keep aiming towards regen plus one and take another point in constitution. Stamina. Um, sure, we can afford to give you that metal spirit talker. Restoration spell, summon Ifrit. <coughs> An old fortress. Dwarves. It's a good thing for you to fight, Linter. We'll give you. Accurate crossbow and some fire arrows. And you'll attack. It's acceptable. Will poison the water? Again, dwarves can be immune to poison. bit of damage, I will be happy to have it. Let them approach. Pavaseer is the most dangerous enemy, and I can't reach him. Good for the AI, keeping him at bay. But... With haste, we can reach him. Make sure the other dwarves aren't able to retaliate. And it's over. Good job, guys. <laughs> Wizard Sash. Sorcerer Stoker, just garbage. 325 bucks is decent for that battle. Inquisitor, Witch Hunter, Smiting Hand, Grand Inquisitor, Guardian of Souls, Zealot. The Zealot! is what's going to make this difficult. Oh, although there's something special about this. Uh, we have entered the Citadel here. The Hero of Woodless approaches the Inquisition's Holy Monastery. The Monastery, a military stronghold, might contain valuable artifacts that haven't already been plundered by heretics. We can defeat everything here. I'm just a little nervous about the Zealot. I think the Zealot has a teleport? And can attack immediately after teleporting. I still think we'll attack. Let's do it. I'm fine with this layout as well. So, what is he able to do? Oh, he's not able to do it. I don't, I don't think he can. I see first strike, smite evil three, hunter of undead, hunter of demons, and armor of faith. And that's it. Is there a different unit that can teleport him? Divine Warp Spell. This is it. This unit can cast a Divine Warp Spell, moving the target unit to a free tile. 
or it's only on friendly units to spell has no effect on undead and demons. I remember that generally he gets teleported. And both of these guys have that effect. So if I want to stop him from reaching my lines, I have to kill these two first. Or somehow incapacitate them. I'm going to move you up. Good. And we're going to try to kill both of these guys. Fourteen range damage. You're not going to kill him. But he's easily webbed. At the risk that they might dispel it. I will web him to start. Try taking out that guy as well. They, I don't think they have a... Uh, oh, they have a resurrection. They do have a reincarnation. Okay, so they can get that guy back on his feet again. Which means we should be a little careful about how we move. Because he's going to get back up. Okay, that's good. Oh no, they're healing instead. Maybe recondition has to be put on a unit first. I didn't think I don't think that's the case. Hmm. Mass curse won't work very well. Well, yeah, it's not going to work very well given the high resistance on, on these targets. Ah! One of these guys is burning to death when his turn starts. Gonna need to kill him next turn. 12 range defense. I mean, we can still damage him, thank thankfully. Let's put you in the way. Armor you. Oh! Gonna go after someone different. Ah! It's over. Oh. Good job, army. Get a guard's halberd for that battle and a long spear. Our commander's leveled up again. Defensive tactics four. Oodle loop. We can give you. I don't really. I don't think they feel like I need another crippling strike. So let's let's give you resistance plus one. Oscarish. Range attack plus one. What's your resistance? No resistance plus. Let's give you one resistance. Hit point for you. We'll give you health. Give you stamina. Acid spell. Inflicts 15 points of physical damage. The armor of the target is reduced by two. Last three turns. Armor only partially protects against the effects of acid. Magic immunity does not apply. Damage increases with the caster's spell power. So in other words, this could be cast on a dragon. Imperial Guards, Guard Contract. I see a war elephant there. Which is good to see. Uh. Oh. Hmm. We have the merchants trying to cross for 50 gold. I will just let them pass. Workers are a good thing. All right, Rudalus. Let's keep on with the battles. We'll fight the Armada here. 
Linter, keep exploring. Grim, you can also keep exploring. Alarm keeps exploring. We build two more buildings. Let's see, the halflings can get a deputy's house and the judge's house. I'm thinking, everyone, once we are, once we're filled up with loot on Rutilus, so one or two more location battles, Rutilus heads back here, vendors and stores some stuff, and then moves out and begins, we begin the, taking the shard. Hopefully, Linter will be able to take on a dragon at that point. At home. Let's... Oh, we have everything we need for the Handler's Guild, so why not build that? And we end the turn. An old mansion. Two ghosts. Too tough for a Lyran, given his current spell allotment. We will need shocks to do this. Let's retreat. Abandoned Temple. Black Lightbone Spearman. Just three enemies. So we absolutely can have you win this fight. Hunter of Undead 1. The rest of this doesn't really help. I think we stick with the Sword of Justice. And do it, Grim. I am fine with the setup. That's good. I was curious if he would dissolve armor to start. We can counter that with a stone skin. One, two, three. So if I'm going to save my slug. Oh, I said we have to move it away, but we can also just kill it. That works too. Lighter as a heavy weapon. We're probably just going to vendor that. Some catacombs for Linter. Imp spawn demonologist, just five enemies. This is a piece of cake. We do not need fire arrows for this battle. We can just use nomad arrows. Which is good to use here anyway, since they're immune to f most of these creatures are immune to fire. Let's do it. We don't need any sabotage. Kill the summoner, and then I think everyone else can kind of just hang out. End the turn. Let them move up. Okay, you just move up and kill the imp. You can charge, kill this. You can charge, kill this. Wand Master 3. Perfect. Plus one more range, plus one more initiative. We also gain another point in magic. Garbage. Thug, bodyguard, executioner, war elephant. Five enemies. I agree with Rudalist, they're not worth the trouble, but we're here. We should do the battle. Let's do this and start. We can move you up one, take the hill. Oh god, that was that would have been a nasty misclick had that been some dude that could actually reach that spot. <laughs> we gotta start with the war elephant. If I can hit it with anything that reduces this ranged attack. I guess we should also mass curse. So we can 
do all this wonderful damage to that war elephant. Oh, almost another misclick here, game. I'm noticing that you really want me to move a unit forward that I don't want being moved forward so much. That's good. All right, well, I don't see them being able to reach me. This is going to be powerful. It could be even more powerful if I drop my centaurs and put, like, cat or catapults in them. Or replace some of the ballista with uh, catapults and move the centaurs down there. I probably should honestly do that. Uh, this horse archer can get... What's your morale? 13. I'll give you more morale. Supreme Dark Order Guard contract and a flamberge as a weapon. Uh, I'm okay, Herskill. You keep that. You keep those gems. Uh, accept all the gifts with gratitude. Wonderful. I don't think about it. Uh, help. Did we lose buildings? We didn't lose buildings. Provide aid to the victims. Magic search. Rich. Actually, send the team for looking for treasure. Hey, excellent. Even more loot. All right. Let's see about all this crap we got. Elven chainmail. We should probably trade a lot of this. With the other uh, peoples. You don't need a rope sling. Okay, let's uh, let's trade with some of you guys. Hey, let's. Uh, we're just gonna give you some free stuff. I don't need this. So let's give you a warrior a warrior shield, and we'll give you some elfin chainmail. I'm actually hoping that. This will make some of the battles we do against these folks a little tougher. Because I wouldn't mind having a nice, fun uh, slug fight against Oinor and her skill at some point. And we can give you the Veteran's Chainmail. Actually, no. We should hold on to the Veteran's Chainmail for our... I gotta hold on to one piece of this for my eventual Necromancer. So we'll offer him Mithril Arrows and the Battle Gloves. And just, just have it. <laughs> we have too much trash. It's spring cleaning or summer cleaning. Rutilus, you can do another battle before you're filled up on inventory space. So let's do some, let's fight some tome, Tomb Guardians. Linter, you've gained another point in magic and wand master. It's time to see if you can kill some dragons. Alarin. Let's see. Well, I guess while we're here, we can upgrade to a mall. Ghosts. What was the spellcasters? A difficult spellcaster group. Two ghosts. We can kill the ghosts if I grab shocks. So let's head back home and do that. And I guess at home, we have another second circle spell we can get spells from. So let's click on the right thing and build the Temple of Life. And that's good. End of turn. Oh, we can build another building. All right, so let's put... Hmm. We need all these places explored. So many of them need to be explored. I guess we can drop an ancient pyramid here. Some ancient ruins found with Grim. Five enemies, ogres, and giants. This is a difficult one.
I don't think Grim can do this battle. All it will take is like three, two hits with the Ogres and Giants, and he's dead. And his army is no match for this force. So, even fully supporting Grim, I don't think we win this. So, we have to retreat. Linter can win. Obviously, our commander can win. Grim would need a much better single-handed weapon. Or a much better two-handed weapon to win this battle. Yeah, we can't do this battle. We have to retreat with him from here. Bone Spear Mummy. You know what? I'm just going to retreat from this fight. This is probably something we could have Grim do. Oinor is happy with the gifts we gave him. So is her skill. I'll think about it. All right, Rudalus. So I guess we will pull you back now. Have we seen what the clerics are here? We have not. I guess Grim can do those last two fights. And Rudalus, you'll head down here. Grim, you'll head up here. Alarin, you are back home for different spells. Okay, so let's drop the shocks. Sorry, the lightnings and give you shocks instead. We'll drop the stone crust and give you an exorcism. This should be enough to win the battle, but just in case, I guess, Tim, you should take one more, you take one different spell. Take another shock. That should be enough. Blinter, you are back home. So the first thing we want to do is repair all your gear. We don't need that. I should, I should just give these away, actually. So let's do that. Diplomacy. Hey, her skill. Here, have some have some gear for your people. You can have this sorceress toga. Give you this. You can also have this wand, and we'll give you the sphere of memory. Here you go. And Oiner. Let's see. If I do to if I go wait. What's did, did I send anything to him? Uh oh, did I click on the wrong thing? I don't know I don't know what I just did. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Maybe we're going to war a little earlier. All right, let's see here. Uh, copper bands are fine. Spells. You want spells for him. Okay, so we're fighting a dragon. That's the intention. That's the intention. Okay, let's go to this. So. Enchanted weapon is what I want you to have. And pestilence. Unless there's another spell on someone that I wanted you to have. Acid would have been good. But you're not going to be able to act to gain that. Unless I put a storehouse here. I guess we could do that. I guess we can also repair all of this. We have even more garbage we can give to some folks. Oh, we have raised cadaver now, so hold on. Alarin, there's no reason for you to have raised ghoul when we have effectively the upgraded ghoul spell here for you. And then Linter. Can learn. Let's see. Oh, we still have Demon's Blood, but we've never even cast it. We're not going to. Just get rid of it. Pestilence. I. I mean, I really should keep fatigue, but realistically, I keep fatigue, Tim. Keep 
Sticky Fatigue and Take Acid. Oh, wait, no, you know what, hold on. I want to cast Acid on the Dragon, that's dumb. Uh, we should hit the Dragon with my ranged weapon with Linter, and not spend time hitting it with Acid instead. So we're going to go with the Enchanted Weapon after all. Acid, you just ha hang out here. So Linter, we'll learn Enchanted Weapon with you. You have a spot for two other spells. Tier 2 spells. Do we have any cool Tier 2 spells here? Mass Fire Immunity could be useful. Doesn't affect dragons at all. They use magic range attacks, not fire attacks. So that won't help you there. I think we will, at the moment, take more of these. So let's grab a big heal. And... A stone crust. And it's dragon time. Let's fight a dragon. And see if we can win. This is where we're going to end up reverting. If we end up not being able to do this battle. Let's also look at our units. Because the dra dragons are tough. So... I think we take the catapult... And we leave the monk behind. Nora, you can survive a single hit from this dragon if we want to do, if we want to use you in that way. But I th I'd rather not lose you in that fashion. I feel like I need to leave the really important units at home. Although, to be honest, all the other units that I replace it with will just be killed easily. I am going to leave my expensive units behind. Because if the dragon takes time killing my weaker units, that's fine with me. I'll try not to care overly much about the fairy. Yep, once it moves down to do that battle. Okay, and that was one of the two buildings I wanted to build, so let's, I guess, upgrade another granary. Oh, I can build a third structure now. I did not realize that was the case. What is this? That's a pharmacy. I, oh, no, I am done. Uh, we didn't build anything in our domain. So, we have so much cash, everyone. Let's build... I guess we'll take more gems. I thank you for your generous gift, Lottery. I won't forget your kindness. I accept your gift with gratitude, Lottery. May it be a token of peace between our states. Got it. Was there a good thing? I'll think about it. Think about that too. No experiments. Let him go. Rudeless. You move. He Actually, you've cleared out your inventory. So. I forgot to leave some other gear behind, though. Let's stop by this storehouse and drop some stuff off. We can also upgrade that storehouse to a mall. At home, we'll upgrade to the Fighters Guild, finally. Linter fights a dragon, everyone. Our first dragon on this shard. With someone who isn't a Master Scout, so we don't get access to Double Shot. We'll see how effective that is. Alarin fights the ghosts. Brutalist moves. Linter moves. And look at that! I just so happened to have been playing the game for like an hour already, which means I get to cut the video here right before the dragon fight and back up the save files before I walk in there. Holy crap! What an amazing coincidence! I'll be right back! Alright, everyone. I just backed up the save game files. Let's, uh... Let's try this dragon. I have not fought the dragon yet. <laughs> I might... I might restore the game files if this is a little too tough. I suspect it will be too tough, if I'm going to be honest, for us to do. But 
I think we'd try it anyway. Dragon has like 20 range defense. So if I want to even have a prayer defeating it, I feel like we need the accurate crossbow as the weapon of choice. So let's equip that. The good news is I think we can affect its stamina, its morale, or its... We can poison it to start. If we were level 20, those effects would be, I think, even more powerful than they are now. But that will take too long. I think we start fighting dragons now and see if we're strong enough to actually win. With 19 range attack, we effectively do no damage to the dragon. Although we we are able to ignore 3 for 5 points of its armor. The Iger crossbow will let us also ignore an additional half of its armor. And I think it's got negative, uh, negative. I think it's got 20 ranged defense on it or some high number like that. If I'm wrong, it's only 10 ranged defense. We may restore the backup, get f game files, and use an elven bow. I guess, hold on, you know what I can do? Because I, I really don't like cheating. Let's, uh, where's my Aedorpedia? Let's look up a dragon really quick. Uh, I'm, you guys can't see this, of course, but I am going to check... And I want to find a dragon. Alright. Ten! Ten range defense. Not twenty. It's got twenty magic resistance. Does forty damage per hit, though. Okay. Then an elven bow will work. Giving us extra range. We'll have range 8 on the dragon. We should absolutely set it on fire. Like, it's not immune to fire. Not by default, at least. Hold on. Let me look at that again. They start with web immunity and entangle immunity. Can't be targeted by magic. Magic shot flying. They do not gain anything like a fire immunity here. Okay, so let's try this fight. Good thing I checked on Aedorpedia. I would have used the crossbow instead, which puts us uncomfortably close to a dragon to start. All right, uh, did I build... I didn't build buildings yet. Okay, so... Let's go with the deputy's house. Jug Oop, that's one thing to build there. Okay, end the turn. Two ghosts. Alarin can crush them. I agree with you, Alarin. It's up to you. Our army can't do anything to these creatures. We start with an exorcism. Boots that one in place for one turn. We can probably magic stream this one to death. And then we shock this one. Plus one health? You're gonna use a wand very soon, Alarin, but not quite at this moment. Let's give you wisdom three. What's your stamina? We'll give you another stamina. Give you a counterattack. Another another Paladin's helmet. Good God! Again, this mass-produced Paladin's helmet's on the shard. <laughs> Two fifty-one bucks. Dragon time. I want to scout this one. He's only level one. Okay, let's try. We have a hill, which is also going to be really handy for us. We have multiple hills. See, it doesn't matter. If I... It, what, wherever I put our hero, the dragon... If the dragon thinks it can avoid the hero's attack, he'll, like, he'll put him all the way down here to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If he doesn't put him down here, then he's planning on charging my hero. Let's see where he puts that dragon. We Dragons are not immune to poison. They're also not immune to stamina loss. The stamina loss may slow it down. 
to speed four. Hit points, though, are extra three damage each turn. That's going to add up not very much, but we will need every point of damage. I think both of those are good choices. Panic doesn't help us very much because the dragon is going to be restoring its morale with every kill it gets, which is every which is a thing a turn. So I think we'll start with the raise false alarm, and we'll see if this reduces its speed. It did not. Okay. One, two, three, four, and he shoots my hero. So our hero needs to move. So first off, we're going to move our fairy down and haste him. Our hero can't stay there. He needs to move away. One, one, two, three, four. Can't reach me. That's how much damage we do per turn. 20. We have to take another 5 hits on this somehow. 1, 2, 3, 4. He's just, he's just going to move here. Does he have charge? He doesn't have charge. I think, though, our hero begins getting attacked next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I mean, we can just begin moving units wherever I want them, because where, wherever they go, it doesn't matter. The dragon kills a unit on its turn. A hero dies in two hits. I think this is a mistake. I don't think we can kill a dragon. I think we have to have an, arch, uh, an archer with double shot to have a chance of killing one. Poisoning it probably would have helped as well. Let's see if we can get lucky to get a few more hits on, on a dragon, though. Let's see what it does. It's going right after my hero. It doesn't care about anything else. It wants the hero uh, killed. So our hero will run into the corner. And we're going to guard him with units. Four more hits. All it wants to do is hit the hero. That's it. That's the only thing it wants to do. It wants to destroy my hero. It will stay here and shoot him multiple times. So I think it's probably over for us. Oh, okay, good. Okay, that's great. I love that it did that. It flew away, which is amazing. It went after the catapult, which is one of the only things that actually can hurt it. It's dead. We did it. Yes! We get that exact army for the next dragon. Hmm. Holy crap. It doesn't matter what you guys gained. <laughs> because you you were hired to die. Uh, we'll give you double shot. Uh, I guess we'll give you force march. What's your stamina? 11? Give you another stamina. Give this ballista a hit point. Manticore Helmet. That's the second part of, a, of that set we'll have for Linter. Dragon's Amulet. Two resistance, 15 experience points. No experiments. Let him go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Um... We need more army before we fight another dragon. So Linter moves back home. Grim moves up. 
I'm thinking he's going to get that amulet after all, because that will give us three pieces of the dragon set. Brutalus. Well, first, let's, let's handle you. So, we leave this at home. We leave this at home. You'll get more uh, hit point ring. I'm going to give you some morale rings. And then we begin attacking these other lands. So let's have you come down into the Medusa lands here. From the hills. Alarin, you won that battle. You gained another spell slot. We should head you, send you home to fill it. Because we're no longer in a rush to conquer provinces. We don't need to keep you there for several more turns. We're going to go ahead and keep putting down deputy houses and judges' houses. End the turn. Nope. We want to build something in our domain. Sent our stables. Absolutely. The only tier four unit we will have access. We will have access to. Eight Medusa. We have fought a group of this before. I really like our starting position, given all the hills we have everywhere here. Our whole army is basically starting on them. This is fine. There's only one Patriarch on their side of the battlefield, but I can't reach it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Can't reach it. Oh, that was a misclick. That was an awful misclick. Okay. Can I web her? Uh, that won't do anything. So we'll just have to deal with her spell. Gotta get that guy back on the hill. So that mistake was really awful. Every one of you we kill is a little less petrification have to worry about. And the matriarch looks like she's not going to cast another fear. Over. It was over the moment we decided we wanted to attack this location. Precise shot. Hit points. Range. What's your stamina? Uh, range attack. What's your stamina? Hit point. Stamina. Willpower. Defense. What's your morale? I'll give you more morale. Bless the hero. Uh, distribute it amongst the population. Okay. We're almost done building all the buildings we want, too. Um, let's build the secret library. Look at all... That's very expensive, but we've got... We have plenty of cash. Linter repairs the gear he had. The Metacore... Ooh. If I give you the Metacore helmet, first off, it, you don't have a third piece of it. So we're just going to leave it at home at the moment. 
At three pieces, we get Poison Shot plus three, which I would want. But right now, the Cursed Helmet with Hex four is more important to me. The Dragon Amulet actually might be very useful for you as well, Linter. Although, Grim is at a location where he could also benefit from this. Is that right? No, not yet. Okay. But if I take it on you, Linter... No, we'll keep we'll we'll have have you keep what you currently have on you. Okay, well we know there's another dragon slayer here with another. S I th oh, we haven't actually explored it. I'm gonna hope it's a singular dragon in that location. So we assemble the same army we just had, or close to it. I think Linter gains a tier 4 unit slot. The Centaur Chief is actually a good unit. Like, this could damage the dragon. He'll die in two hits. But it does take two hits for him to die. It's tempting to wait until we get access to it. The next thing that Linter gains should be... Oh, no! No, no, no. Never mind. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting Linter's... Oh, I, keep... I don't keep forgetting, but I forgot Linter is a ranger. Not a archer. He will not get a tier 4 unit slot, I think. Darn it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put a unit here. I think it was a spearman. Their head's right back to fight another dragon. Alarin. We have, another, we have more garbage. So, you'll keep your current army, but I'm changing out spells. We'll take a ghoul. I'm going to drop these shocks. we we'll give you a zombie. And then I think two lightnings. We send you right back over here to do more battles. You can't defeat the spellcasters. Brutalus has won his battle here. Let's drop down an infirmary. Upgrade that to a pharmacy. We should put some guards here. So we'll put down... We have plenty of money, so we'll put down an army of darkness. I, well, why am I going to do that? There's a reason to do that. We're not under... We're not. Let's just put down a normal guard. More Arcanite that her skill has not discovered. Lizardmen lands. I don't really want to fight Lizardmen. I think Rudalus moves here next, takes the horses forward. And then down to fight the, these Forsaken Lands and pushes down this way to explore more of these provinces. Actually, we don't need to do that. We can just build a fort here, similar to this one, and that will let us see these locations. So let's instead double back here and we'll take that province... Oh, God, or will I? Ten enemies, Harpy and Manticore. I'm expecting there to be at least three Manticores. With a range of five, this means they can reach me. And I know all the Harpies will be able to, too. We might lose a few units here. I'm just going to retreat. You don't have to do that battle. Uh, buy them overalls and tools. They'd better. Okay. Well, everyone, I... Th mm. Let's fight the giants with Rudalus. Next episode, we will start by going to war. Probably with her skill. And we'll start the end of the shard.
In the meantime, though, let's fight a dragon with Linter. Grim. We repair his gear. We leave this behind. And you take these two items. We're going to permanently give you some pieces of this set now. Okay, that should be good. Actually, we're not quite done. We have summon effort and restore. We don't need restoration. You do not need units. Oh, we have a blighter that we don't need. Okay, and let's just send you in and fight the Tomb Guardians, which I think you can handle. Alarin begins exploring here. Okay, we're set. Let's build another building. We'll build the Chamber of Commerce. And then we keep building even more structures in my provinces. Let's upgrade that pub to a tavern. We can now upgrade taverns to inns, so we're going to have to start that process everywhere. Ancient Crypt. Elf, Dwarf, and Halfling. Uh, yeah, you can annihilate them. Let's do that. So, let's just... Magic stream, chilling lightning, elf to make sure we don't take any damage from this in this fight. Or rather, take reduced damage because I just took four damage on my centaur lord. And let's summon our very first cadaver. It's going to be replacing this guy. I can't raise another skeleton. So we give you a stamina. Okay, so we're dropping the centaur warrior. And we're dropping the healer. We're taking the cadaver and the skeleton. Speaking of cadavers and skeletons... Oh, wow. Look at Grim now. 12 resistance on him, thanks to the gear we've given him. He can be poisoned, but he can't be diseased. I do love the feel of the Holy Knight. He is really nice once he gets uh, all this amazing gear. He can probably single-handedly destroy entire armies by himself. With this much range defense, he would even give... No, Rudolus would just annihilate him, though. All the range attacks he would have to take, doing at least like 18 damage, he wouldn't... Well, he could move up, he would be able to cast Stone Skin on himself, giving him an extra 5 armor and could shrug off most of it. The burning elves would affect him negatively, but he could actually reach the enemy and begin killing a few things. I don't think he'd beat Rudalus by himself, though. A new spell for the Spirit Talker, Armor Piercing Shot. Unit is taught to cast Armor Piercing Shot spell, adding Armor Piercing effect to friendly unit's shots. Hey! What's else give you that? Cloak of Illusion. 
and a great sword. One dragon. Scout. Level four, this one. Be a little tougher than the last one was. I still think we do it. Our morale is still low. Okay, that's also awkward. That's awkward because we will start suffering combat penalties. We will need to take a break from fighting. Actually, I think we have a I think we can cast a heavenly light which will allow me to recover some morale. We also know that we want to poison the water because the dragon will be affected by it. Okay, so We need to get ready to move my hero. And he's going to be moving up here this time. He's got a range of eight. Uh, I think we move our fairy. One second. One, two, three, four. Okay. Our fairy moves here and hates our hero. It put itself away from our catapult, which is an... I guess it's terrified of armor piercing, which is interesting to me. If I move here. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have the range. So I can move you safely. One, two, three, four, five. I can move you safely here to shoot it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, it won't be able to do anything to my army this turn as long as I move around a little carefully. That was a free, like, uh, not quite 30 damage on it. One, two. Oh, three. Right. Floating. Not flying. She can't move over that. I want to get my hero. One, two, three, four. Okay, it can't reach me there yet. do need to hit it with these uh, range defense reduction abilities. Okay, that won't be too much of an issue. which is good. All we need to do is keep him from hitting my hero. I guess it doesn't want to shoot him because it does less damage, which I think is stupid. I think this should absolutely keep shooting the hero with this breath weapon attack. But I'll I'll take it. If it doesn't want to do it, that's that's fine. Yeah, see, it should it should do that to my hero. We get an enchanted crossbow from that battle, which might be better than the one we currently have. The uh, the accurate crossbow. We'll take a look at that. That was from the battle itself too, not from not as a treasure. Plus one magic. I think we'll grab concentration three. Speed for our fairy. It doesn't matter what we give you guys. Wh whoever survived this is being left inside the castle. Let's give you an ammo. Defense. Stamina. Range attack. Range attack. Gloves of mastery. Five hit points. Two range attack. Energy control plus two. Resistance plus one. This is a better version of what he's currently wearing. Enchanted grove. Summons three Horons in an adjacent tile. Summoning range on the Horons' attributes depend on the caster's summoning skill. This is a tier four summon. 
that's pretty great. Maybe we'll take some summoning on either Linter here or our uh, Necromancer to put these out into play. Ogres and Giants, five enemies. Rutilus, let's try it. So, Giants have a good range, and they're, they do good damage also. So this is going to be a bit tricky to do this battle without losing a unit. There's only a single giant, range 6. 20 range damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, it can reach this guy if he moves down 1, and they have hills knowledge. So if I can't kill this this turn, and I don't know if I'll be able to, then that's bad for us, because it will totally kill us, or kill something on my side of the battlefield. We gotta do 55 more damage to it somehow. If you get moved here, your range becomes... Your range is still 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. You don't have range. Okay. So... I can hit it twice more. Something else can be given haste. Or I can sacrifice one of my units to dying to ogres because that was what's going to happen. I can't. It's a web won't stop it from killing me. If it moves here, it's totally going to kill this bowman. That's what it wants to kill. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yeah, it's gonna move down here and throw on him. With only night oh, with 19 life, if we put an armor spell on him, he can survive. So let's do that? We're not killing him this round. It, that's simply not going to happen. That was dumb. Why did I move him into the woods? It's the same range. All right, let's end the turn and see let's see if this guy survives, this bowman of mine. Actually, if I move him here... One, two, three, four, five, six. He won't have range to him. I'm going to move him off the hill and just end the turn. We haven't seen giants very often, have we? I'm about to uh, have a hiatus for this Let's Play, too, so... Get a good look at him, everyone. It might be a while before we see another one of him. I forgot about the giant. <laughs> I see the ogres coming up. And I'm so focused on killing them. That I forgot there was a giant here. I don't mind you just wasted your boulders. They have collect ammo, though, so he can just pick that up again if he so desires. All right, let's not forget about the giant this time, Tim. True Resurrection Spell. Caster loses five hit points. Resurrects friendly dead unit with full health. Has no effect on undead demons, mechanical units, and elementals. Tier 3 spell? 
Do you have a tier 3 spell slot, Rudalus? I don't think you do. I'm okay. You can keep your gems. I don't need gems. I don't think you have a tier 3 spell slot, do you? You do! Okay. Uh, you know? So, we, while we can't resurrect our Ballista, it would be nice to have the option to get back a unit that dies due to my stupidity. So, we may take that over Mass Curse in the future. Oh, we we have tier we have tier two spells now too, Tim. You should probably look to take some of them. Let's drop the tavern from this land. Put a library here. And Rulus can drop. Actually, we can still keep the haste. We'll drop this web. We won't need the magic armor. We have a better version of that with stone skin. And. I'm tempted to take a word of life or a restoration as a big heal if we need it. Word of life also recovers stamina. Increases their attack and speed also. But we'll just grab restoration. You know what, everyone? I'm going to take to resurrection. Right, I can't. Yep. We're taking it. If I lose a unit, we'll be able to recover it now. And Rulus, I guess you can explore here one turn. Everyone, we're going to wrap this episode up a tiny bit earlier than another, like, two and a half hours. or oh, One and a... Another 45 minutes. We're going to do this one more turn. Wrapping up on turn one. We'll stop at 146. Uh, Linter moves over here. Linter moves over here. We're going to leave a lot of this behind. Let's look at these two uh, crossbows. Attack... Attack, uh, sorry, range attack 8, range 4, ammo 4, armor piercing, precise shot 3. Range 9, range 4, ammo 4, armor piercing, shot, enchanted arrows 3. So this does more magic damage compared to his accurate crossbow. I think I, I think that is a better bow for you to use. This is a better version of his gloves of incarnation. More hit points, energy control, and one resistance. We will give that to him. And you head home? Yep. Oh, and Linter reached level 20. He's now a Pathfinder. He's gained one more initiative, plus 10 more promised exploration speed, plus one more sabotage efficiency. Can perform acid sabotage 2 greater, which effectively gives him a sabotage skill of 5. And has gained enchanted arrows for more damage. And I think it looks like 2 more terrain knowledge to his entire army. Grim, you can repair your gear. We can leave this maybe for our mage. I guess I'm fine with everything else. You'll fight some clerics to end this episode. 10,000 gold in our domain. We'll build the oracle. Which is hideous expensive because we don't have most of the resources for it. But we'll do it. And then we can, then we'll upgrade, I guess, this swordhouse to a mall. Upgrade another. Oh, that's it. That's all we can do. Uh, we don't need any rituals cast, to my knowledge. You know what, though? Let's let's try casting something. So we're gonna destroy this library. We don't need it now. And I. It sounds like. Oh, uh, we'll wait a turn. Let's uh, let's come over here first for Linter. And cast Heavenly Light. Improves your morale by four. Yep, that's a five. We should make up for the fact that Linter had to watch some of his forces die. Piper explored with the Lyran. Swordsman, healer, grand healer, monk, guardsman, priest, witcher in this army. Could lose the fairy instantly to the witcher. I'm going to hope it doesn't happen. Let's attack. Could lose my bowman to this guy too, if, they, if that's what he so desires to do. Let's start. I can't reach the witcher this turn, or I would absolutely charge him. Oh. 
just immediately move right up and force him to deal with my hero. I love that little sound effect, that little, whatever that is at the end of that uh, magic strike. Okay, that's good. I don't want to take another one of those hits, so we want to kill him. He has one ammo left. Oh, he used a different type of spell on us, didn't he? What is this? Yurden. It loses health and stamina each turn. Attack attributes are also reduced. Well, we can just move away then. going to be tricky to kill this guy. I think he's going to move up here and round attack my slug and uh, spearman. Killing that spearman altogether. That sucked. Thankfully, though, I think he still dies this turn. What level guy was that, I wonder? We'll find out soon. Level 12 with the stamina medal. Okay, that sucks. We still won? Plus one command? Let's grab that one region that I want on him. Defense. Double shot. We can give precise shot medal to our level 11 bowman. Double shot. Healing. Restoration. Warlock's Wand! I was gonna buy this! Alright, 7 range attack, 5 range, 4 ammo, magic shot, undead summoning power, plus 2. A Dark Cave. Dark Priestess, Bud Butterfly, Slave Driver, Darkness Craver, Beholder, Darkness Chosen. This is the very difficult to defeat Dark Elf group. Oh man. Well, we've been fighting and winning. Let's keep trying difficult battles with Rudalus and get you guys some entertainment at home. So, I want my Ballista on the hills. Let's do it. Can we kill her to start? She is the most dangerous thing here. Oh, we may be able to do exactly that. I just need one more hit on her. Yeah. Good God. Amazing. I love it. We're just killing everything. All the all the most dangerous targets are dead. These guys are dangerous because they do 14 and 13 magic attack. But I, we might survive. Uh, he absolutely will. What's your range? Six. Since you are kind of in the center, Viper Abaris... And then end the turn. What 
them has a, had a resurrection spell. Should have checked their healers. Dark resurrection on her for four ammo. She has no ammo left now, though. You can heal that elf just to make sure he doesn't die. Well done. Not so difficult in the end. Man, going first with this army also feels so wrong with all the extra initiative that it grants just by choosing this type of general. We can haste him so he can get the last kill. All right, well done, Rudalus. Let's give them another defense and range defense. We can give you a defense. We can give you a... S doesn't matter, really. Stamina. <laughs> I say it doesn't matter to mean that, like, they're both good choices, and we're also buffing all of this with our commander's passive, so I don't feel like we need either of these choices. Uh, let's give you some morale, since you lost them when you upgraded. In ammo for you. Siege. Siege. Hit points. What's your stamina? 16. Attack. More Manticore boots. I guess we can give these to you now. We already have Manticore boots, I think, on Linter. Uh, break the statue. Holy crap! A ring! Unbelievable! Uh, I can't risk my health of my subjects. Alright, everyone, that will do it for us. So, let's... Repair all the gear. Leave the Enchanted Grove behind. I guess we'll give these to someone. Let's see. So Diplomacy. We can talk with her skill. And we'll offer him the Accurate Crossbow. And a Paladin's Helmet for free. Oinor. We're going to give you the Gloves of Incarnation. And the guard's halberd for free. Linter has space for another tier 3 spell slot. I didn't realize we would gain another one. So we can give him acid if that's what I want. I think mass dispel may be better for him. Or mass fire immunity. Both of those might be really good. Can we build a tier 3 spell school? We can. We will get access to two of these. So let's grab the Tower of Restoration to start. Because that gives us a resurrection spell. Resurrects a slain friendly unit. The amount of hit points of the resurrected unit depends upon the caster's spell power. If I make a mistake... That will let me recover from it. For units, you're going to leave all of this behind. Because we are taking back your normal army. Or am I? There's another dragon I want to fight. Hmm. I think we take this army then with us again, because I want to fight that other dragon. Yes, we really should fight the other dragon. Actually, but the other dragon... Okay, I'm not going to give everything... Oh, we'll just hire a new army. And we'll leave this existing army by the dragon. Right, The dragon's out here somewhere. Oh, or it's not. I thought we found another dragon. Is it down here? I should be able to see... Oh my god! Where's the... Where's the location? The uh, dragon layers tend to look the, sa the same. 
Oh, is there no more? Is there no other dragon? Here it is. Oh, okay. It's down near this province. Okay. So let's pick up your army from here. Oh, it's going to be expensive to hire units down there. But we have $8,500, so I guess we don't have to really care. So let's put our bowmen there. Healer here. We'll take the existing army we've got with us. That little sigh is because I wish we had one other tier 3 slot, but we do not. Alright, so... You know, you could leave this monk behind. I don't really want to, but we could leave him behind and take a priest instead. Oh, hey! And look, there's another merc for sale. It's another cavalryman. And he... What level is he? We don't know yet. can't think of an army that wants him, though. Linter could maybe use him instead of the Centaur Warrior, but I like our Centaur Warrior that we have. I, I want to keep the forces we have right now with you, Linter. Alright, so with this, we'll send you south now. Can we speed that up? Yes, we can. Hold on. Can we make it to the Dragon's Lair right now with you? Because if we can, we might as well just hire... Might as well we can. We can. Okay. Then change your plans again. There's no reason why then we had to hire expensive units. We could just bring the existing army we have with us. And do this battle. But we can't bring the... Oh, we can't bring the Ballista or the Catapult. Never mind. I really want... Well... Do I need them? They're a little more damage to the dragon. Otherwise, it's only Linter that's damaging it. How far away is this province from this one? I, I think we do go down here to hire the new army. I think we do do that in the end. If I swap out to these two units, our mobility goes from... Uh, well, our mobility is currently 6 right now because of the spell we just cast. But this would slow us down. Uh, let me show you. So if we take the catapult... Oh, we're not slowed down. Really? Not significantly. Oh, alright then. Never mind. So we will take it with us. Well, good thing I good thing I checked. All right, let's leave all of you behind. I'm so sorry, guys. Not all of you are going to make it. I should already bring even more ballista. They'd be more useful probably than the centaur warriors are. But the centaur warrior speeds means I can move them around to protect my. My hero if I need to. We're fighting... Well, the dragon has... The dragon has flying. Doesn't care about... Forest. We'll, we'll do this after all. Grim. You have a spot for a tier 4 unit. Let's get you home. I'm probably going to drop this giant slug off, too. It's just slowing us down. We haven't really benefited from having the slug on our army. It was kind of cool as a mascot, but we're going to... Actually, you know what? We're just going to get rid of it. There we go. Sorry, slug. But we don't need you. Spended this. Oh, you're... we can give you the Wand of Tempest if I want to. And you can use your Necromancer's Knife. You're going to start using a lot more stamina if I do this with you. Which means we can give you that cool ring. For four hit points and two more stamina. I think that's good.
I arguably don't need the merchant set. We'll be okay. I learned yet to keep exploring. Rudalus, you're exploring. Luther's moving down. Grim is heading back. We should build a building in our domain. We did already. We built the Tower of Restoration, I think. We should upgrade some buildings, and then, everyone, we will stop the session here. Next episode, we do begin attacking the other enemy Astro Masters. We've had a lot of fun. It turns out our ranger can kill dragons. As long as the dragons ignore our ranger, which is acceptable to me. I am fine with that decision. Oh, I still want to explore all these lands. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Next turn, we're going to start by battling her skill. Once he's dead, we'll go ahead and eliminate Orinor. And we'll try to explore the rest of these lands as well. Probably two more videos on the shard. And then we take a hiatus from the game for a bit. In any case, thank you guys for watching this. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.